Guys, it's just Adam and today we're going to do a team review on my ultimate team on the FC24. Firstly, we're going to start with a goalie and do deck. At all I can see is world class, saves every one on one v Mbappe, pretty much. Unless you're the goalie fuck something dies the wrong way. Which happens a lot in this um, FIFA game. Even though it's not called FIFA anymore, we're going to call it FIFA. But overall, I would recommend him buying him. He's probably under 57k because I've only built this team in two weeks. So I would say he's probably sitting about 48k, maybe. He might have been higher to be fair because he's that good. And then we have the two defenders. Thiago Silva, Joe Gomez, the melt in the defence, like a toasted marshmallow, no even joking, it's, they're so good together, it's unbelievable. Thiago Silva gets beat, Joe Gomez covers, Joe Gomez gets beat, Thiago Silva covers, it's just the best partnership in the Premier League, I would say. Nah, I'm only kidding, I wish I could have Van Dyke, but I don't have the f facilities for that big man. Um, and then we have Akuna. One of the best left backs for shooting, I would say, because the amount of times I've shot outside the box and he scored 16 goals. It's like if I made a compilation of all his goals he scored, you would see every goal is probably outside the box or him in the overlap. And now with Dodo, probably, firstly, I thought this is probably going to be one of these players that's only high because he, he's Brazilian. And he's won a knockout card. Um, but honestly, probably one of the best players I've used is because he's really fast, it just makes up for everything. His dribbling's quite good. So even though he's got no assists, he can literally break a defence in one goal, basically. And that is helped by Barella. I've been using. Nico Raskin to him, but Barella is probably better. Barella, he's a good box to box, but sometimes I feel like his body shape's not that great. Sometimes I just feel like he gets beat a lot, but he'll do the now. I got him from the team here in the View SBC, which I got Thiago Silva as well, so that was quite good to me. I completed the Dybala SBC because I was like, I have enough order, why not? Let's do it. And not even Jordan, he's probably been one of the best feeling players I've ever used this game. Even though I've only started playing Ultimate Team a lot recently, he's probably one of the best players I've used in recent Fevers. Dybala is that kind of player though, so you you get used to it. Pedri, as a matter of fact, the other day I had to reshape my team because of chemistry and I, I just couldn't get my way around it. And I was like, oh, Pedri 126k I sniped him for. And so far, he's, he's really good. He's the agility to get around players. He's good defensively, good attackingly. I put an engine on him, so he's good at both. Even though I should probably put a shadow on him, or a hunter. Doesn't really matter, but he's been one of my best players. And then, Gary Lineker, a fox in a box, man. He's, he finishes everything. It's, it's like the man on the right-hand side there. They two in the wings, your defence is done. Unless you're a wee sweaty bastard in FIFA. Your defence is terrified, man. And I uh, Gary Lineker, probably one of the best cards of bought, 164k, that's probably either went up or down, I don't know. Yeah. Hernandez, best SPC I've completed. 95 goals and 60 assists, that speaks for itself. Guy finishes everything. The only thing downside to this card is he's po possibly maybe a few you've got Cesario and Lineker running forward and he's the one that's behind him. His passing's not that good, but doesn't matter if you're a striker, I guess, because look at his stats there, 6 to assists, that just speaks for itself. And 
probably the best striker in the game, I would say. One of them, anyway. And, what? Cesario. I go, this was Christmas Day when I got him at that player pick, the icon player pick. And I was probably the happiest man in the world. Because I packed Mbappe. I packed Haaland. And by far, that is the best card I've ever picked. And by his stats, he's just, he's just world class. He's, he's the way he feels in game, you, you understand why he has his price. He's 1.2 million, 1.3 million now. But what a player. It's just, he's something else. And then we're moving to the bench with Adama Traore, best, one of the best SPCs you can complete because that's a good super sub for Dodo or I could even stick him at left back as well, he's that good. Terry Henry, I just put him there, I'd never sub, sub him on. Rashkin, really good but I can't get him in full game because he's an SPFL which is a disappointment. Because I've done that evil all day and he is really good. Watkins, just to use him a lot, don't use him that much anymore, but he is a banging card. Bamba, got from objectives, he's alright, but there's better out there. Balak, got him for a 30p pack. He's probably one of the best 30 feedbacks I've got. He is banging for 87 rated, but Pedri gets in ahead of him. Barella gets in ahead of him. And then the Bayer Leverkusen centre back. I really just got him because it's for protection if I get a red card for Thiago Silva or Joe Gomez. I can just take one of the CMs off, put him on. That means I have defensive structure when I'm playing champs. That's pretty much it. And then my reserves, I don't think you really care, but Jota, Haaland, Zubaela, and Aspas. Haaland, I don't like this card, but many other people like it, so there you go. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel and leave a like and comment what you want more, because I'm going to do custom tactic videos, I'm going to do maybe some F1, I'm going to I'm going to start YouTube again for real this time because last I've done it six months ago and I got bored it very easily. But what I've learned, just keep going and something will happen. So, thanks for watching and good.